Good afternoon, my name is Keith Thompson. This is another in the How To series. So today we're going to be looking at how to set your saw blade perfectly at the right angle. Most circular saws um, have a tilt facility which is controlled by a hand wheel that just allows you to tilt the blade from the vertical position to whatever angle, usually up to 45 degrees from vertical. And there's usually uh, some kind of scale uh, with an indicator. And in a word, indicator is what it is. It's not a precision device. And on machines that don't have some kind of CNC control, which is measuring it, that's all they will ever be. Because you can see the size of the pointer on the arrow and the sizes of the digits on the scale, it's never going to be more than an indicator. So there are several ways of doing this. Um, you can use squares, um, a 45 degree mitre square, for example. Some of the Japanese ones are really, really easy to use and good. But, you know, one of the easiest ways of doing it is with um, a little level box, or sometimes called a bevel box. We sell one under our own brand, UJK. I'm sure there'll be a link on the text below. And basically what this does, it measures the difference in an angle between two surfaces. So the first thing to do really is to check that your blade is exactly at 90 degrees with the table. It doesn't really matter that this table is not level, you're not using a spirit level. Um, so you just switch it on and you literally plonk it onto the table surface. As you can see, it's reading 89.9, sorry, 89.8 or 89.9 degrees. It doesn't really matter if that's reading sort of 83 or something like that, because you can set the zero and that's the important point. So you just need to get it to read zero on the scale. So that is telling you where your position is on the table, which is really your reference point. Okay, so you zeroed it to your reference point and then simply without touching any of the buttons on it, you transfer it to the blade and it's magnetic. So it sticks to cast iron and obviously sticks to the steel surface of a blade. It doesn't stick to aluminium, of course. So you can see now that we're reading 89.9 degrees. Point 0.1 of a degree isn't really going to matter one way or the other. I expect if I move this slightly, I can get it to move. Um, yeah, there we go. I can actually get it to read 90 degrees because the scale reads in tenth of a degree increments. So without disturbing this, I can now uh, zero this little scale off here at zero degrees. And now I that is representing your 90 degree to the table. And I can then just use the hand wheel to tilt the blade to whatever angle I want. So if I wanted at 25 degrees, by all means use the indicator scale down below, right, nearly at 25 degrees. Now I can actually just ease it around so I'm bang on 25 degrees. It takes a little bit of care and you have to allow it to catch up because the little gyroscope inside needs to measure where it is. So we are bang on 25 degrees. So how simple is that? They cost just under 20 pounds and they fit in your pocket. They have a little wallet and turn it off and you can keep it safe, you can keep it on your belt, but it's always there as a great method of checking the angle of your blade to the table. You can't get very much more precise than that. <laughs>